Hello there! Welcome to Guitar Building with Glibus. Today we are going to sort out the inlays on this neck. Let's get to it! So, I previously mentioned at some point that, you know, at that point there was not much to do with the neck. And essentially, you know, I could do things, but I just needed time to prepare, you know, to think what I want to do and so on. So now that we have, you know, body routed out, you know, all that aside, we get to work on the neck a bit more and pretty much finalize it. So what we have here is our inlaying design. I did take some time to, you know, to prepare it, to think about it. So let me share with you, you know, the things that I come up with. So we are obviously going to have our side dots. And since this is a maple fretboard, I ordered these black side dots. Let me take out just one of those to show you. So in my previous build, I was using just simple white ones. These are, you know, exactly the same thing. These are black side dots. You drill it a little hole here, you put it in, you trim it off and all good. So I have the side dots here, third, fifth, 7th, 9th, 12th fret, you know, and so on. You know the drill here. Now this time for the normal fretboard markers, I'm actually going to use these simple side dots as well. So they're very small and very subtle, but this is exactly what I'm going for in this build. So I'm getting very subtle, but you know, very nice, at the same time very simple and functional. So this is kind of the theme of this build simple but awesome for the 12th thread here i'm going to have a special inlay so this is kind of a drop design uh, it might evolve as we go and this is what is known as a celtic knot or triquetra so a bit closer here so the reason i'm using this design is i have a necklace that <laughs> that has this design so that's that's the whole thing I like my necklace, so I'm using this design. I might add a little notches here and there, but you'll see it as it evolves. For now, I would like to, I guess, cut this out and then get to inlaying it on the neck. So I decided to stir things off a bit slow and easy. So nice and easy, do the thread inlays first. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be using these plastic rods as my inlays and what I did I found I measured the inlay so it's 1.8 you know just about to go into 1.9 millimeter and I have a matching little drill bit so it's 1.8 as well going into 1.9 I'm just going to kind of pre punch the hole with this thing so let me just do that So now I have the position for drilling, now I'm going to take this drill bit of the same size as the plastic rod, this is kind of my death stop, I don't really want to go too deep, so I'm going to drill a little hole. Okay, and now we are going to take a bit of CA glue or super glue we are going to put in just a little drop a little bit just a tiny bit okay should be enough and then I'm going to take my plastic rod and I'm going to put this in so it's on there might just very very gently bang on it and now we let it cure for a moment and then we can simply trim it off so now that it had enough time to cure I'm just going to take this saw and trim it off very gently just 
just like that. Of course, it doesn't look perfect now because you would have to go in uh, with some sanding block and perhaps a radius block even and send this down to the fretboard because now it's still a bit of a notch there. So now basically I have to repeat the same process all over the fretboard and the exact same thing on the side here exactly the same process so let me do that and i hope you will enjoy this nice time lapse so see you on the other side decided to show you what this turns out like again these are the things that's happening so to give you a brief introduction in what I would do next uh, I would take my straight edge you know just like that and then kind of like you know rub it until I remove the material so now that these are in place, uh, next thing I would like to do is exactly the same thing, just with the side dots. So enjoy a little time lapse of that as well. Before I trim these things off, I thought I would share with you a nice tip. You probably see me do it in the time lapse all the time, and in case you're wondering, what I'm doing is I'm taking one of those sticks and by rotating it against the sandpaper, like that, so I'm rotating it with my fingers constantly. I was doing this, and the end of the thing was rounded over. So I was rounding over edges, just like that, giving it a very tiny taper compared with this one. So this is sharp end, this would not go in. And with this taper, they were going in very nicely. So yeah, hope this will be useful for you. So now it's time to trim this off. And I feel like it's gonna be kind of fun because I can trim off all of them at the same time, I think. Okay, this one done. And if trimming off looks fun, because it is fun. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So just like that, we have our things sorted out. So yeah, here is one more angle. Looks great. So guitar players will now be able to see where they are playing. So now that these dots are sorted out, it's time for elephant in the room. The inlay and the tail thread. So this is our design, Celtic knot or Trick Vetra. Uh, you might have seen it was different in the beginning of the video, it's because I changed my mind. I want to have these kind of spaces in there. So if you want to see another iteration of the design, it's here. So, I mean, if you compare them, Obviously, this one looks a lot better. So this is what we are going for because this is a very high quality high-end guitar So even though it's harder to do than the one on the left It's still worth it. So let's cut it out and then lay it in place
So I will probably end up using a bunch of tools to get this done, but to start things off, let me just, you know, cut out these pieces in their rough shapes and then we'll move on with it. And so after dropping these little pieces 1000 times and stabbing myself with the little rasps yep and following the rasps i got it cut out so the next step would be to place this all in the neck and to do so i'll be using this template so the trick that i'm using here is i took this template the same thing as from there that we used and I sticked it on the fretboard with the center line lined up with the center line of the fretboard so that is it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to score a line in the fretboard using a very sharp scalpel I think I would even stand up because I need to very closely follow these lines and basically I'm going to now cut out these black shapes So, yeah, there is that. Now that we have these sorted out, we can remove our template. Like that. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but we have the lines of our inlay scores in place. So, Okay, that is, I think, if I show it like that, you will be able to see it. So, do you see it? It's a very fine line. Oh, like that. Perfect. So, this is the line that we are going to follow when making a depth cut. Yeah, so let's inlay it in place now. So, I had to move away a little bit. So as the next procedure here, we are going to take a rotary cover with this kind of router or whatever attachment, well, which basically makes it straight with a very, very thin bit and a piece of masking tape, which will blow the chips away. And we're going to start making the hole for our inlay. Have to be very careful here. But yeah, let's just let's just start. And we're going just along our scored line.
Yep, so this was a good start. This is not deep enough at the moment, but that is absolutely okay for now. For now, that is okay. So I'm going to do the same procedure for all of our lines here. Okay, I sincerely apologize. I kind of got carried away and yeah, we are here, almost done. Although I didn't have like the co courage, courage to film everything, I still want to explain to you what exactly I was doing. So this is my land, you know, we started with making a groove. So what I want to take a look is take a look from the side. So imagine we are looking from the side and this is our fretboard so it looks like this you know basically a straight thing you know fretboard and a neck and all that jazz so this is our fretboard suppose so what i was doing there uh i marked the location and this is the side view i marked the location let me show you a bit closer so i marked the location like that and then suppose we want to be like this deep and this is looking from the side so what i did there i went in with the rotary cover tool and made a very rough shape like that so i removed all this material i made sure i'm on the correct depth though so once i'm on the correct depth i still have this size to remove you know what i did then i took a scalpel blade so like that so for example this is not here and then I went along the sides and made sure that this is perfect. I was doing this at home all the time, not outside, you know, just in the evening as a stress relief thing. So, yeah. And with the scalpel blade, I was essentially removing all this material. Like that, and like that. And then we got our inlay cavity. So it looks like this, and then from the side, this would be square. And then I repeated the same process essentially for every single thing. So now we have this inlay and the next step is the same as with the plastic dots. We gotta glue everything in place and then we are going to be sanding it down flush with the fretboard. Because for now it has like a 0.5 millimeter overhang and we would like to get rid of that. So let's glue it in place with some super glue. And then if we have some, you know, cracks and whatnot there, we are going to fill it with super glue and some sawdust perhaps. Let's get to it. So the inlays are now temporarily in place. So what I want to do is I want to take them out and put them in the positions where they should be. So like that. Even though you might see that I essentially I have three pieces of each shape so three this triangle whatever pieces three long pieces one two three here and three short but because i was making them by hand they're all unique so one is half a millimeter bigger one is half a millimeter smaller so i want to retain the locations of them before I glue them in place and then yeah once again very sorry about not filming all this but again this is not a hard process it's just that I don't know it was a bit stressful for me and I don't you you I'm not sure if you feel like this sometimes when you're you know you really want to do something but you might not exactly feel like filming it and there is always a kind of a balance between filming and enjoying the process and mostly like 99% of the times I enjoy both but this time I was kind of stressed but it, it turned out fine because I was really paying attention otherwise this would make a video a very long one so I hope I hope you don't hate me for this too much so I've got my glove in case I will need it. I have my hammer and 
on my eyes I have protective glasses because if I'm going to bang in if the super glue gets somewhere on my face not nice and you definitely don't want any super glue in your eyes this I can say for sure even though I never tried it sounds like a horrible thing so let's start from the top and then I'll probably speed it up for you so let's just pour in some super glue over here like that So this should be enough, maybe a bit too much even, but that is all good. So now we can put it in place and I'll just use the back of my scalpel blade to firmly press it down. And then plastic bonds very well, exceptionally well with the super glue. So we got our first piece in and then I would be repeating the same process with all of these things so enjoy this little time lapse So now that they're all in place with super glue, I'm just going to flood them a little bit more to fill in the cracks, fortunately, and all sorts of other things. So all the cracks filling in with super glue. And then we are going to start working on leveling this whole contraption with a threadboard. For now though, since I don't have a super glue activator, let's just wait and then we'll start leveling it. So the glue doesn't really want to cure for now, so I'm going to take the approach that I took in my previous build. So let me just clamp this in place so that our uh, thing doesn't run away. Or actually, let me not clamp this in place, because I set up the fretboard to be straight, so I don't really want to stress it. Now I have this 16 inch radius block uh, with some sandpaper, very simply. So I'm going to run this along like that. And then as the particles are appearing here the super glue is going to cure and now since these particles are pieces of plastic and maple this is exactly the kind of material we want so you know that is totally fine it's going to fill in the spots so a quick update uh, after a rough removal this is what we are looking like we are very close to be flush with the fretboard but if I kind of go over it with my fingers I can still feel that we are like I don't know half a millimeter one fourth of a millimeter we are still you know a bit too high and as far as the cracks go we still have some cracks to fill in but that is totally fine we can do this a bit later and so after a little bit of back and forth between the super glue and this amazing new radius block, a pretty long one, works a lot better than the small one. After all that, we got our triquetra inlaid. And while planing this down or sending this flush with the fretboard, we also send it these dots flush with the fretboard as well. And it is super smooth, super nice. I would work on this a little bit more off camera perhaps, but yeah, this is all, all dusty, but looking great. Now, while we are here, I would like to quickly take an opportunity to, you know, finish up the thread slots because this got a lot of gunk in them right now, super glue and whatnot. And here, if you remember to install the fretboard, we use some pins, so wooden pins 
you have to remove them as well. So let's do that very quickly. As a kind of practice, let's start by removing this dot here. So if I remove the sawdust with my scalpel blade very quickly, you'll see that. Okay, now we can see it clearly. There is something there that would obstruct. Should we try to install the threads right now? So I'm going to take my saw. I wish it was a thread slotting saw, but it's not. And we are going to just cut through it. And this is to start things off. And to finish it up, I'm going to use another saw. Why I'm using this one is just by, by coincidence. It has the width that we need. So 0.6 millimeter, our flat thread slot. That's why I'm using this one here. Let's move on to the big one then. Now we have these two thread slots that got obstructed and got a lot of things inside them while we were, you know, while we were putting in the inlay. So let's very, very carefully start slotting through it. Okay, that is now all sorted out. Okay, so on that kind of sharp note, I would like to conclude today's video. It was all about inlaying the snack. We got our side dots sorted out. We got our fret markers on the front, which are using the same material as the side dots. So they're very small and subtle, but any guitar player would see them because they're very contrasting with the maple fretboard. And obviously we have our elephant in the room, our three quatrain inlay on the 12th fret. It's looking great. It's, you know, it's very nice contrast, black plastic and yeah, not white, but you know, this woody, light wood color maple looks great in my opinion. So yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to work off camera on some things. For example, I'm not happy with the neck thickness as it stands now. You know, I was, you know, touching it and checking and I want to make it one millimeter or one and a half millimeter thinner and I totally can this allows it here I would like to work on the neck shape a little bit more it's a very thick kind of neck for now I'm not exactly aiming for this so I'll work on this a bit more now in the next video I'm not sure what exactly we will be working on but we will work on something this I can promise so see you and then until next time, keep making sawdust and see you around. Cheers. To work out the radius and the, you know, not the radius, the, okay, I'm lost, I'm lost. Start over.